Hello guys, welcome to Formino's Bilando Style and my honesty level today is kind of to the roof, so stay tuned. Hi, once again, this is my second week trying this stuff, Fiber Orlando Torres, and it's about something that you guys probably didn't catch up during the week and I just want to talk about it. So you are welcome to subscribe to this channel, to like this com to like this video and then share it with whoever you want and drop comments right below. And let's just start right away with number one. Boom. So I'm trying to come this time with putting my uh attention and focus not only in, in men fashion but also all the kind of interesting stuff that I like that I kind of read about during the week like politics or Hollywood or just the news or something funny whatever so I just want to start um, uh, with number one today and it's, it's actually giving a shout out to uh, a, a channel that I found this week and it's called the Antidoti and it's hosted by Sergio Carlos the Dominican uh, uh, commentator and it's I think the kind of feedback that he brings and the information that he brings can be helpful for all of us um, I just want to come to a, a public that I identify with and it's, it's all of you guys who were born in the Dominican Republic and, and immigrated to the United States and now we all live here we're bilingual we speak both languages and um, somehow we focus so much living here and then we forget what's going on over there you don't have to belong to any party you don't have to side with anyone we just need to be aware of what's going on because it's just responsible we can just not sit here and smoke hookah and drink and you know and do our lives that we do here we all work very hard but we also need to focus on who lives there and what's going on there I think this channel does a great job at, at uh, showing that and you know again you don't have to side with anyone you don't have to even agree with him or with me or with anyone just kind of pay attention so you know where you are number two boom and in that same manner uh, this week happened the uh, uh, Democratic Party debate of one of them one of the 700 of them they've been holding a uh, Democratic uh, town halls uh, for the nominees where they sit there and they argue about their policies and what they believe and uh, they all trying to run to be the Democratic uh, nominee to, to, who's, who's going to go fight against the President of the United States, the current President of the United States and you know they kind of uh, argue a whole lot of things. I just want to say that uh, I mean I pay attention to it because I think that everything that they argue about and they speak about directly affect me or somebody who I know and for me to just sit here and kind of follow the excuse that oh uh, it's boring or it's control or it's uh, or it's something that doesn't really affect me or if, if I do something it's not gonna make a difference like that doesn't fly anymore I think we should all open our eyes and pay attention because everything that they speak about directly affects us so I'm not saying go ahead and follow every debate but at least know who what's going on because it's crazy stuff happening in politics okay number three boom all right if you guys are not sure <laughs> how much of a, a impact everything that's going on politics and 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 and, and, and the news right now are involved and, and kind of touch us you should pick only in the one issue that i know most of you are into sports you know most of you are into the nba i'm not one of those people like i watch sports sometimes and I, I mostly see the players, what they dress up during the week and when they go to the game, that's all I kind of watch. But uh, I know a lot of you follow the sport pretty closely. So if you uh, this week didn't realize that Hong Kong has been in a protest against China for, for the longest now, and that kind of somebody who worked in the NBA uh, made a comment or actually posted a tweet because Twitter seems to be the new way of communication now. <laughs> he posted a tweet and that created a whole big drama so much that even the room James is involved. So if you guys think that it's only about playing and three points, you guys kind of, you know, out of the way, out of, out of the loop of what, what what's going on so make sure that you pay attention it's a big fight that is, is actually touching into our politics here that you know the parties are kind of fighting this is it's a it's a twitter fight <sighs> it sucks, man. all right and number four is right here to any kind of relax the mood a little bit because i came like a little strong today and i'm happy about it i don't care i just want to touch on the fashion part let's move on to the fashion part and this week i just want to give kudos to romeo santos and i always want to advocate for people or for guys to actually express their style and kind of not marry fashion and a style with your sexuality that's what i want to do like stop thinking that because you wear pants or this different type of color makes you gay or not like that's what i want to say and i think uh 
uh, Romeo made a great example of it this week. He wore a pink suit and it's a little nice style that um, no undershirt. He posted it on his Instagram and I couldn't help myself but to kind of put this picture together. All right, so I love that. Um, I think I just want to say that all of you should follow uh, your heart with what you and kind of explore your style a little bit. Sit down, think what is it that you really like, and then follow that. Don't let other people tell you what you should wear. Boom, my number five. This is the last one, just to finish in a lighter mood. Because <laughs> again, I started kind of hard today. Um, I just want to show you this video of Lady Gaga. Come on, come on, get Jack. I think Lady Gaga is so, you know, passionate about what she does and, and she loves her fans so much that she doesn't think that this kind of stuff can happen. Um, I'm glad that everyone is doing well and uh, I just wanted to finish with that and show you and kind of invite you to kind of, you know, pay attention. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. I'll see you next week.